What's up folks? So the 308 Winchester is capable of doing a mile. I did that in a previous video shooting a 168 grain Hornaday ELD bullet. So for those folks that have been watching my precision hand loading series, we came up with a 200.2 grain, this is a Burger 200X20 bullet, going roughly 2800 FPS with Reloader 17. Of course with 200 grains compared to 168 grain, in theory, this should do a lot better bucking the wind. Today's range conditions are pretty good. We got roughly an eight mile per hour crosswind. So I want to give these things a try. Now the ballistic coefficient of this bullet is stated at 640, but I was able to measure the actual ballistic coefficient with an Eller Model 43, and it came out around 0.7. So in theory, this should keep up or possibly outperform a six fire Creedmoor. We'll find out. Now I'm using the ballistic app called Sterlock, and the weather today is stating uh, 66 degrees with a 30 uh, inches of mercury for pressure, 6% humidity. So we'll go ahead and use that. We are going to be shooting at 1800 yards is where this is marked out. And let's make sure we have the right bullet. So we're going to change this bullet. Burger 200X20s. We'll use those values. Okay. So it's saying I got to come up 84.7 MOA. My scope is an SWFA. Uh, I could get roughly 70 MOA. And with the wind, it's roughly 48 degree direction. Let's do 10 miles an hour, 10 MOA of hold. So, gotta change the target. Rectangular target, let's do that. So this is a basically what my reticle is going to look like with 70 MOA of adjustment holding over uh, roughly uh, 15 and of course I got to dial windage but the target in theory should look like this on my scope. So let's see what we can do at a, at a mile, see how well these bullets perform. So it looks like we'll be going old school. Unfortunately, my target camera ran out of battery. So I'm gonna to have to be spotting my misses with my own scope. Did not see. That's it. Almost got it. Wow. That was really close. Almost got a second round impact. I gotta come over right. One. I think that was an impact. <laughs> we'll do that again. The fifth shot.
Okay, that was just right. Unfortunately, I didn't get any more impacts, but I want you guys to pay attention to how close these impacts are at 1,800 yards. Ooh, just in front, that was low. Almost five seconds. That one hit the same spot. Let me uh, come up one and a half MOA. Those three impacts were very close and were under half minute MOA at 1800 yards for the 308. That's pretty impressive. Oh, just high. All right. At this distance, the impacts are very hard to see by yourself without a spotter. And my target cam wasn't working, like I said. And there's quite a bit of mirage, as you can see. I know, there's excuses, but next time I know for sure, if I would've went up another one MOA, I definitely would've hit that target a hell of a lot more. How many impacts did I get? Looks like the answer is one. And I believe that was the third round. I almost hit it on the second round and I've only shot 12 shots. I didn't want to go any further because this little target camera ran out of battery. I tried to see if I could get it going with a nine volt, but obviously it didn't work. So, but at one mile, I'm pretty impressed with those Burger 220 X's. I think they're doing a lot better than the Hornady 168 grain ELDs. And they seem to be a lot more predictable. So, uh, they're keeping up definitely with my 6.5 Creedmoor. Elevation is right on par. Same elevation as I'm dialing on my Creedmoor. But uh, again, we're at a 200 gram projectile, so it's got some more punch. Well guys, I'm gonna come back later on and uh, hopefully get a new battery for the target cam and try this out again. And hopefully uh, we can get some impacts uh, more on plate. Well, that's all I got for now, guys. As always, stay safe, and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Ooh, hold on. Here's one of the bullets. Woohoo! <laughs> There's one of the burger hybrids right here. Wow. <laughs>